Kia just recalled 70,000 cars because they keep catching fire. That's just embarrassing. But it's not even close to being the worst automotive recall. Today, we're gonna look at the most embarrassing car recalls in car history. I'm James. Welcome to Donut. Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring today's video. I know what you're thinking. What is a jock with 100% authentic bulging muscles doing with Jerry going through a goth phase? It's not a phase, Nolan. Oh my God. There's jocks and there's goths, and rarely do they mix. Well, now they do, because Omaze is giving you the chance to win the ultimate 80s muscle car, the 1987 Buick Grand National GNX. Decked out in all black. My second favorite color after misunderstood gray. Plus, it's simply sinister all black exterior houses a turbo 3.8 liter V6 engine sitting on 16 inch cross weave wheels. It's the strength of a muscle car with the dark brooding charisma of your favorite supervillain. Hey Nolan, you wanna listen to some death metal and scribble in notebooks about our favorite spiked collars? Ah, uh, I'm cool, goth Jerry. Oh, I feel the pain. Best of all, every donation supports the ACLU, a nonprofit that fights to defend the rights the Constitution guarantees to all of us. Now that's strength. What are you doing there, goth Jerry? Bicep curls. This GNX has inspired me. I can be brooding and strong. So, for your chance to win this 1987 Buick Grand National GNX, taxes and shipping included, go to amaze.com slash donut media. Oh yeah, make sure you're focused, like you're pinching that muscle. Uh, like you're pinching the bicep, not necessarily a pull. Uh, Feel that pinch. The first ever automotive recall was more than a hundred years ago on the Ford Model T. Henry Ford used cheap materials to save production costs. One of them being Spanish moss. Spanish, Spanish moss. moss. For seat cushions. What is this, frickin' New Orleans? But little did he know, little insects called berry bugs freaking love that crud. Customers buying Model Ts off the lot found their cars riddled with these bugs who had made the Spanish moss cushions their home. The bugs would bite them right in their big, dumb old butts. So old man Henry had no choice but to recall the cars and personally squish every single insect himself. Talk about embarrassing. But that's not even close to being as embarrassing as some of these other recalls. Our next one comes from a brand that my friends and I like to call Mazda. I think we can all agree that Mazda is a completely normal car brand that isn't embarrassing at all. Unless, of course, you lived in the Seattle area of February 2022 and owned a 2014 to 2017 Mazda. When owners of these cars changed their radio station to 94.9 FM, the local NPR affiliate, they suddenly found that they couldn't change it to any other radio station. Oh, you want to listen to Danny Bonaducci on KZOC? Too bad! You're stuck listening to endless hours of all things considered. Hope you like Ivor Glass. So why did this happen to begin with? Well, it has to do with the image metadata sent by the radio station. Normally, radio stations will send out an image that displays on your car's head unit, but the NPR station forgot to include the file extension and the Mazdas all got ripped off. Mazda had to issue an official recall for the dozens of people affected by this egregious era. It's just downright embarrassing. All right, so that last one, I'll admit, is a pretty benign and silly reason to recall a car, but I promise to not! This next one is way less funny, unless you're a sicko. From 1966 to 1980, GM installed trans... <laughs> From 1966 to 1980, GM installed transmissions in their cars that would occasionally pop into reverse on their own. The reverse gear would self-activate, sending the car backwards without the driver's consent. For nearly the entire 15 years that these were produced, GM knew about the problem, but they refused to fix all these cars because it would have bankrupted the company to fix all 23 million of them. So they just didn't. <laughs> But you know what's more expensive than spending three cents per car to fix a deadly transmission problem? Getting sued a hundred times. Ask me how I know. In the end, GM had to pay over a billion dollars in settlements because they let the problem go on for so long. And that is what I call embarrassing. For our next recall, we gotta go to the faraway land of Mercedesville. 
Mercedes has had a fair amount of recalls in the last few years. There was an issue that affected the AMG G65 models where the speed limiter on the reverse gear wasn't calibrated correctly, meaning that you could drive super fast in reverse. Okay, so that's not that embarrassing. In fact, it's pretty freaking sick. Then there was the time all those ignition modules started overheating and short circuiting, preventing certain cars from starting. And uh, last time I checked, I'm pretty sure you need to start a car to drive it. Mercedes ended up spending millions in repairs, totaling over 269,000 cars recalled. But even still, that wasn't even their most embarrassing. Just a few months ago, Mercedes recalled a million cars because of a little teeny weeny major issue involving faulty brakes. The problem has to do with the brake booster, the device that increases hydraulic pressure in the braking system to make sure that your car can stop. Now, over time, these brake boosters can corrode, leading to brake failure. Now, luckily, Mercedes says there haven't been any reported injuries or deaths yet because of this, but still pretty embarrassing. Do you know what's worse than faulty brakes? Forgetting to install brakes in the first place. In 2011, Chevy had a recall on their subcompact model, the Chevy Sonic, for not having brake pads. It's not like they were installed improperly or they used the wrong part. Chevy just straight up sent out some Sonics to dealerships and fleets without brake, brake pads. pads. Turns out that when the brake assemblies were being shipped, the pads fell off in the shipping container and no one noticed before they were installed on the cars at the factory. In total, 4,296 cars were recalled, making this the second most embarrassing Sonic recall of the 21st century. Downright embarrassing. Our next caller tugger is another one from GM who also decided to sell customers big floppy engines that pop up and out of the car. Big floppy engine, what the heck are you saying about, James? Well, if you owned a GM car in the late 60s, there was a chance, just a slim chance, that a motor mount would fail and your engine wouldn't be securely mounted. But it gets worse. If the left mount failed, the engine would push up when you accelerated, which then opened up the accelerator leakage causing the car to accelerate beyond the driver's control. This resulted in a bunch of accidents. GM recalled nearly 7 million cars and fixed the problem with a cable cost less than a dollar. That's what I call embarrassing. I would like to take a moment right now to go on record that no piece of donut merch has ever been recalled except for the time when we made that asbestos hat. That's our bad. It was really cool. It was flame retardant, but it gave a lot of people mesothelioma. If you've got mesothelioma, you can call this. But all of our merch is available at donutmedia.com. It's really cool stuff, including this bubble print shirt. Now 100% asbestos free. Go get you some. But recalls aren't just for old stinky cars. Turns out the Teslas aren't perfect either, especially when it comes to the self-driving mode, okay? Turns out that on self-driving mode, Teslas won't come to a complete stop at a stop sign. And this wasn't a bug, it was a program feature called rolling stop mode. That's like programming your Terminator to jaywalk. Not great, great optics. optics. Tesla had to recall 54,000 cars, which is super embarrassing but somehow less embarrassing than Elon Musk in any social situation. If you love Mars so much, you should rocket yourself over there and stop bothering everybody. It's embarrassing. Next up is easily the most famous embarrassing recall of all time. I am of course talking about the legendary, infamous. 2015, an independent investigation found a bombshell discovery that nearly all of Volkswagen's diesel powered cars were cheating emissions tests using defeat devices. These devices would detect when a car was getting small and enter a low emission mode, allowing it to pass the state regulated test. But when these cars got back on the road, they became way stinkier. Volkswagen didn't do this by accident. This was hard programmed into the cars and VW ended up recalling 11 million vehicles. Some of the top executives at Volkswagen received jail time. Hundreds of thousands of owners ended up losing their cars because of this and VW paid a billion dollars in settlements. This was embarrassing on so many levels, but even still, it's not the most embarrassing one of those ones. The number one most embarrassing car recall is... 
Takata airbag scandal. You may know Takata as the backpack company for sad boy car enthusiasts, but they actually make other things too, like airbags, the ones that come in basically every car. In 2013, tests showed that when certain Takata airbags exploded, metal shrapnel burst right into the driver's face. Now, I'm not a doctor anymore, but I want to be one again. And if I were one again, I'd say having shrapnel explode in your face is not good for health. Unfortunately, this wasn't just a small batch of airbags. This is a list of every car affected by these faulty airbags. That's right, cars from 19 manufacturers sold between 2002 and 2015 had these faulty shrapnel filled airbags and it gets worse. It came out that Takata and Honda both knew about it and didn't tell Nitsa. At least 27 people have died so far from this. In total, over 46 million cars have been recalled. Dying is embarrassing. Now, when you combine those cars with the ones recalled from Takata's other scandal a few years ago involving seatbelts, that puts Takata at a list topping 108 million cars recalled. Bah! That is embarrassing. <sighs> Mortified. Thank you so much for watching this video and everything else on Donut Media. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss anything. Again, go to donutmedia.com. Get yourself some sweet, sweet apparel or accessories. Support the sponsors that support us. That's how we make these videos. Uh, speaking of videos, go make one with your friends. Go pick up a wrench. Go have a little bit of fun. It's beautiful outside.